What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It is July 13th, 2017. Our anniversary. Yeah. It is, it is. It's four years today. So, oh. So, um, we were gonna go to the Chinese restaurant where we had our first date ever. Oops. And um, that didn't happen because there's this crazy flood in our area. Yeah, so that didn't happen. And Kristen had a Neglected to tell me today that we were getting our piano tuned. I told him that's not true. I told him like like last week that Eons was coming. <laughs> it was like last week, guys. Like probably when I was playing video games. Like, hey Kyle, we're getting our piano tuned. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, pretty, <laughs> whatever. Agree to disagree. Disagree to And uh, but the piano, piano sounds great now. In pursuit of trying to eat healthier, um, we decided we're not going to go out to eat. Instead, we're gonna go and we're gonna try, we're gonna go to the grocery store, we're gonna take groceries to the camp out, and we're going to try and get a whole bunch of healthy, we're gonna try and get some like, I'm gonna try me a veggie burger, and french fries are okay, cause they're, mm -hmm. but anyway, we're, I'm, gonna try some, I'm gonna try a veggie burger t tonight, and we're gonna make some kind of like, healthy junk food-ish kind of thing, and maybe watch some TV and hang out, but, uh, yeah, I, I realized today, uh, I, I realized earlier today that I think eating healthy is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought it was. Making healthier choice here, I was gonna have some chips and salsa. Let me check this label on the back. Serving size, two tablespoons. That's like one chip. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a, a conscious choice and it's not, I guess it's not always convenient. I said we're gonna get groceries, I said we're gonna get groceries, we're gonna get groceries tonight. Alright, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yay! We were getting frustrated, we couldn't find anything, but we found a hidden gem in Walmart. The, f the healthy section. <laughs> Just right here. Well, that was frustrating. <laughs> I think the problem with go I think the big challenge to eating vegan we're trying we're gonna try it for a few weeks and the biggest challenge is gonna be like like we got these like black bean burgers because like we're trying to find like substitutes like I like burgers and pizza and stuff so we're trying to find substitutes for that and I'm like oh cool black bean burgers but you look on the back and it, it contains egg and milk and it's like you're kidding me why is there milk in this so it's, I think the, I think the, um, the difficult thing is gonna be, like, the, the moral of the story, I think, is gonna be that we're gonna have to, like, make our own stuff. Like, make my own black bean burgers so I know what's in it and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot healthier and overall, I think, a lot cheaper and make us eat up what we have. I don't know. I, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be a learning process and learning curve. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, so right for tonight we're having um, we're having these black bean we're having these black bean burgers and some French fries and I'm thank thank the Lord I can still have French fries. Um, not gonna eat too many of them though, you know, obviously. But okay, so we got here is we got some uh, black bean veggie burger thingies, some lettuce, and some guacamole. I think you gotta say it, guacamole. Guacamole, all right? Come here. I mean, here goes nothing. Like this, see, this is a taste test to see if can I eat. Let's see if I can do it, folks. Let's give it a try. From a body! Is it good? It's just fine, yeah. All right. I'm gonna trick my body into thinking I'm having meat. <laughs> Yay! All right, in the spirit of being us and not doing things the regular way normal people do stuff, if you remember Valentine's Day wasn't the exact uh, tradition either. We had like a burger from the local burger place. We are having that local, a local burger place just opened up today. So for our Valentine's Day, we're having this, uh, ice cream and some burgers and fries. Anyway, here's what we're doing. For our anniversary, we are having a meal and watching a movie. <laughs> but it just goes down to just what you want to, like, it's, this is literally just what we wanted to do tonight. So, it's okay. Well, our supper's finished up, and it was it was okay. I, I think I can get used to like veggie burgers or whatever. It was definitely a nice substitute. But let's go check out the flooding. I wanted to show you. So in our area of Ohio, it's like flooding really bad in some spots. Luckily here in town, we don't, we don't, uh, we, the water will never get, the water will never get this high. So that's nice. Yeah. But we're gonna check it out and show you. Back in 2007 was 
like the biggest flood we had in this area in a long time. And all the roads were impassable. So everybody was like stranded and it did a lot of damage. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna get that bad this time. What the? Beautiful scenic ducks. Ducks? Problem that, the problem is there's this river that runs from a bigger city and it runs this, it runs this east to west. Yeah, it, whatever. And so it's not even raining right now, but what happens is it like, the river will, I don't know how it works. It crests or something. And so even after the rain stops, the flooding can get worse. What? So please don't push me in. Why the heck would I push <laughs> I wouldn't push you in on an anniversary. Wow, look how bit, look how fast it's going. Also, look how deep it is. Look how brown it is. We don't have that far to go until this, this, I don't think this bridge ever has gotten, it has it gotten over this bridge before? I don't know, it might have. I think it actually has gotten over this bridge before. Nice. But anyway, I'm gonna, <laughs> as we said, it's our anniversary today. And something that like I just realized about myself today is that I get super anxious when it's like a, a birthday or an anniversary or something like that because I feel like there's, I put a lot of pressure on that one day to be um, a great day because it's like, oh, it's our anniversary. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do crazy on our anniversary? And I get anxious. And I realized today that it's kind of like counterproductive against our mission, our our um, what is it? Mission statement of trying to live every day to the fullest. It, and not 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 to say that days aren't special, certain days, but. You know, we're both simple people. We neither one of us needed something crazy elaborate. And um, you know, some people like that kind of thing, and that's fine. Our anniversary fell on a Thursday this year. You know, maybe if it was on a weekend, it might be a little different. Mm -hmm. But you know, hey, we just had an interesting day. You know what? We'll always remember this day because this was like the first day where we had to actually struggle with, like, we're trying to we're trying out this vegan thing just to see how we like it, and it just kind of happened that the first real day was our anniversary. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, we had to have veggie burgers, so you know, hey, it would have been way easier to still grab some Chinese someplace, but we'll always remember this day that as the day that we yep. had to go get veggie burgers instead because it flooded and we couldn't go to the normal place we were gonna go, and then yep. and then Kyle got crazy with his ideas in the summer and we became vegans for a day, so we'll yeah, <laughs> we will always remember this day, it'll always be special. Moving forward, I'm just gonna make sure I'm not putting too much pressure on any specific one specific day or um, you know, because every, everything's not going to be perfect. And if you have if you have high expectations for a certain day, like you know, making someone's day great or special, and it doesn't live up to the expectations, it's a, can be you're setting yourself up for a huge letdown. So I kind of like living every day and making it the best day it can be, versus li versus putting all my eggs in one basket to speak and ha and try to make one day amazing. Yeah, so. it's like that one year when you're turning 21. Like every day, I was like, your birthday's coming up, your birthday's coming up, and then I was sick. Yeah, she kept. She kept hyping up my birthday, 21st, and then she was sick on my 21st. I wonder so. if this is where this all stemmed from. Possibly, 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 but. Okay, in honor of our anniversary, first thing you need to know about Kristen is she is like the note queen. I woke up this morning and had a note on, on, by my, uh, on my nightstand or whatever, and it was just a note, like uh, a happy anniversary note, so I thought I'd share some of it with you. Um, first thing is she wrote, uh, these are her favorite memories. I think they're in order. I don't know, they're numbered, so I guess they're probably in order. They're not really in any order. Uh, they're, they're just kind of a little bit chronological. Okay, well number one is Hocking Hills. So that's when her and I were in college. We went uh, in Ohio, there's this region called Hocking Hills. It's just south of Columbus and there's hills and there's like cabins and stuff. And we went down there and we went into, there's like caves and stuff. And that was like our first like getaway together. Number two was our time in Chicago. That's so it was three fun. years ago. That's where we started our marriage. Number three is our wedding, so this leads me to believe it's not in order because. No. <laughs> well, it's kind of the same time because we had a year in Chicago. No, no, I'm saying we... no. I'm saying it's not. It's not in order in by your most favorite to least favorite. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Because our wedding, because Hocking Hills is more important. <laughs> yeah. And then four was singing silly songs. Yes, we do that quite often. Uh, yes. Mr. K, it's the time for fun. Even though your school year's over and your summer begun, you know what that means. Yes. It means I'm free. No. Follow to the letter your honey-do list. You must complete it every day. Are you serious? <sighs> I 
-hmm. Five, um, our cuddles and hugs. <laughs> I'm not much of a. It's mostly me forcing them upon him. Yeah, I'm not much of a touchy feely person, but I can, I can, uh, I can um, compromise. And then number six is uh, his family time, and then she drew, a, she drew a picture of a bear. That little, can you see it? Probably not, because the blur. Okay. She wrote, her, she wrote down our favorite inside jokes, and I thought, um, here are some inside jokes that you might not know we do, and maybe we'll do them more in the vlog, or maybe they'll appear. Number one, when we say there's a wild animal in here, so sometimes when we walk around the house and we just see bear laying in a silly fashion, or just, we'll discover that the closet door is ajar, and we'll, we'll notice that bear is in there. Bear? Hmm. The door is ajar. The coat closet door is ajar. Hello? And we'll go, oh, it appears that there's a wild animal in here. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a fun thing. Fun. Number two. Oh. <laughs> Number two is when I come up with an idea and Kyle says, nah. And then he just suggests my idea again, but as his own. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll go, hey, we should really go get, we should go get Chinese tonight. And I'll say, no. And then later on I'll go, hey, you know what? Let's go get some Chinese tonight. <laughs> Number three. Oh. When one of us has a different idea than what's planned, we'll go, or real loud. The person goes, "What?" <laughs> Sometimes we're like kind of indecisive people. Mm -hmm. When I say something like when I'm really anxious and I say something that's ridiculous, um, Kyle um, helps me out by like kind of playing along and like pretending like it's totally like. I could totally True. happen, and he's like, "Yeah, that's probably right." So she'll be like, she'll be like walking around the house, going, "Oh my gosh, everything's ruined. Everybody hates me." And I'll go, "Yep, everybody hates you, Kristen." <laughs> Just to kind of like play along with the the silly, like to let her know how how um, ridiculous it is. What she's saying is ridiculous and then it kind of lightens the mood up a little bit so uh, that's just some of our fun memories we've, we've had together over the last four years and um, we, we're happy to share them with you and here's to one another year and showing you our next year of marriage so find your gift share it with the world and remember you are worth it see you tomorrow <laughs>